I'm Hazel, and today we're taking a look at the new mounts coming to WoW in patch 9.2. We've got approximately 40 new mounts coming spread across about 10 or so different model types. You're going to notice that quite a few of these are tagged as coming from a system called Protoform Synthesis. That is a new Xerath Mortis specific crafting system, kind of like Mechagon Tinkering. You're going to collect materials in the new zone and then combine them to craft mounts. However, even though they are all crafted with materials that you can farm in the zone, the patterns for them may come from treasures, rares, paragon caches, quest lines, any number of things. Just because it says protoform synthesis doesn't mean that it's going to be easy, although some of them certainly are going to be gimmies. The first model type that I want to show you is the Vombata, and we have four different colors of these. This is the Adorn Vombata from Protoform Synthesis. This gray and bronze color is the Curious Crystal Sniffer. The dark one is the Darkened Vombata. All three of those are tagged as Protoform Synthesis. And then if you want one that is not Protoform Synthesis, you have the Heartlight Vombata. This is for getting exalted with the new Enlightened Rep and will set you back 5,000 anima. Next up, we have the Protostags, or the Servid Mounts, and once again, three of these colors are going to come from Protoform Synthesis. This one is called Death Runner, the dark red with the white accents. The Pale Regal Servant is the same thing, but with a gray base. And then the Sundered Xerath Steed is going to be a darker color. One of the nice things about having multiple recolors for these Protoform Synthesis mounts is that if one of them happens to have like a really awful, obnoxious, hard to get pattern, chances are at least one of the other patterns is easier if you really wanted like a Protostag. Finally, the fourth Protostag is the Anointed Protostag, and this is once again an enlightened rep mount. This one comes earlier at Revered, 5,000 anima for this particular servant mount. If you're after something a little spookier, or you've just been lusting after these ever since we saw them in the first patch, there are Maw Rat mounts coming in patch 9.2. There are five different colors of them. This one, the Colossal Ebonclaw Maw Rat, comes from the Jailer's Gauntlet Layer 4, that is for completing the new Boss Rush mode of Torghast. You also have the Colossal Plague Spew Maw Rat, dropping from a rare out in Xerath Mortis. The Colossal Soul Shredder Maw Rat is from the new Layer 16 Flawless Master achievement, so more standard issue Torghast for that. The Colossal Umbra Hide Maw Rat is a random drop from Torghast layers 13 or higher. It makes a lot of sense that these are tied so closely to Torghast since that is where you see the most Maw Rats around. And then the Colossal Wraithbound Maw Rat comes from a Mossborn Supply Chest, which is a chest you can find out in Xerath Mortis. Our next new mount model is here to answer the prayers of Hornet lovers nationwide. There's got to be at least a couple of them. And that's the Vespoid mounts. This is the Bronzewing Vespoid, a protoform synthesis color of them. We've also got Buzz, a silvery purple one, also from protoform synthesis with a very unique, interesting, and articulate mount description. The Forge Spite Flyer is a third color option, very similar to the first one. And then the Vespoid Flutterer rounds out the Hornets with a silver and it's not really gold. I guess it's gold. It's not bronze. Brass? Yeah, sure, brass. No, brass is orange. Colors, Hazel, colors. Speaking of metallics, here are the much anticipated snail mounts. This is the bronze helicid from Protoform Synthesis. You also have one called Serenade, again from Protoform Synthesis, but this one in more of a classic gold shell. I say classic as though that is the original snail shell color, you know, the one we've all come to expect. And for the third option, you've got the unsuccessful prototype fleet pod with more of a steel colored shell. And that brings us to spiders. Xerath Mortis has both proto spiders as well as mecha spiders. The mecha spiders will be able to fly. Nothing I've seen so far indicates to me that proto spiders would, but if they do, that's going to be remarkable. This is the Terraknid Creeper, another protoform synthesis mount. Our second color option here is called the Genesis Crawler. And you've also got the ineffable Skitterer mount in case you wanted a red one. And then we've got this Xerath Mortis themed mecha spider with the Carcinized Xerath Steed. This is widely believed to be the ahead of the curve mount for the Jailer, so for defeating the Jailer, on heroic difficulty during Shadowlands. This is going to be our new end of expansion AOTC mount, most likely. This thing does fly and it's the flying animation on it that makes me think that maybe the regular spiders aren't gonna do this. The mount special animation for it is also pretty cool and I believe is shared with the earlier Mechagon Mecha Spiders, which will also be able to fly in 9.2. Next up, we have the Orlids. These are a new Xerath Mortis jellyfish. These are currently tagged as underwater only mounts, and I really hope that they decide to let them fly or that I've misunderstood and that they will be able to fly because these are from some pretty serious meta achievements. This one is the Cryptic Orlid. This is the achievement mount for From A to Xerath, which is the new Xerath Mortis zone meta achievement. There's also a recolor of it called the Shimmering Orlid, which is the Glory the Sepulchre Raider mount. And then there's one more color option with the Deep Star Orlid, which appears to directly drop from Hirocon, which is a Orlid rare out in Xerath Mortis. It would surprise me if the zone meta mount and the raid meta mount are both underwater only mounts, especially because this is 
not Najatar, and to my knowledge, we can't fly those out in Zareth Mortis, but we will see. They are jellyfish, so perhaps maybe they're just for the sea. Next, we have the proto wolves that have drawn so many Nintendo comparisons. This is the Heartbond Lupine, a protoform synthesis mount. It is the only proto wolf that I've been able to find in 9.2 so far, aside from the Vicious War Stalker, which is a data mined only vicious mount, not in the mount journal, likely for a future PvP season within patch 9.2, but not the first one. We'll get there. The next category I would like to title as Big Birds. We've got three of them. They are all protoform synthesis mounts. This is the Raptora Swooper. We also have the Maw Adapted Raptora for a more colorless look. Mod Monochrome, black and white. Spooky. And then we've got the Desert Wing Hunter for the third one. The Mount Journal doesn't exactly show very well how long the tail feathers are on these things. I promise you, they're long. I don't think that's going to make any difference to your decisions, but I just wanted you to know. Next, it is toad time. We have four different proto toads available from Zareth Mortis. This is the Gold Plate Buffonid, the Patient Buffonid, the Prototype Leaper, and the Russet Buffonid. If you wanted one that looked a little bit more, I don't know, violent, have the Vicious War Croaker. This one's a little more similar to the Arden Wheel Toad Mount that we already saw, but with faction themed armor, this is of course going to be the first season's Vicious Mount. Speaking of seasons, we've got a couple of miscellaneous mounts to wrap things up with. Check out the Waste Warped Death Walker. This is the Keystone Master Mount for season three of Shadowlands, and it is red, 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 red. The Venthyr Purists have got to be happy about this. This one will go with your Venthyr Mog. This is going to come from achieving a Mythic Plus rating of at least 2,500 in Shadowlands season three, which is up from 2k. However, keep in mind, you are going to have both wings of Tazavesh to help you boost that score. We've also got the Zareth Overseer. This is the only mount of this model that we've found so far, and this drops from the Jailer on Mythic difficulty in the new raid. They are describing this thing as a construct of the first ones that flies on a graceful stream of perfect geometric understanding, whatever that's supposed to mean. Finally, another one that they do not put in the mount journal because they are nice enough to not taunt us with it. This is the Cosmic Gladiator Soul Eater, which is the new Gladiator Mount for Shadowlands Season 3. You can earn one of these by reaching the 2400 rating in 3v3s in Shadowlands Season 3 and then staying there for 50 wins, or earning 50 wins at or above that rating. It's a long shot for most people, including me, but it's pretty cool if you ask me. So those are the new 9.2 mounts. I am particularly excited for the Snail, of course, and then after having looked at them again, I am increasingly excited for the Vespoid mounts. I, we're gonna get flying in Zareth Mortis relatively early, and I can definitely see myself buzzing around the new zone on one of these. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful, wonderful day.